And tonight on a great, great American panel, he is the deputy editor of the Wall Street Journal editorial page. Dan Henninger is back with us. She is a senior advisor at Think Tank, NDN, Democratic strategist Alicia Menendez is back. He is a Fox News contributor, the one and only Stephen Crowder. Whoa, Harry Reid, first his son, won't even mention him on his, web, uh, on his website or in the campaign ad. Now Harry taking a couple of shots at uh, Obama. I think that he is um, on many occasions, no, I shouldn't say many occasions, on a few occasions, I think he should have been more firm with uh, those on the other side of the aisle. He is, a, he is a person who doesn't like confrontation. He's a peacemaker. And sometimes I think you have to be a little more forceful. So in other words, he's weak. That's how I interpret it. it I, you know, I, I don't get what he's saying. This has nothing to do with fear of confrontation. It has to do with a complete lack of accountability. Harry Reid's trying to make him out to look like Rex from Toy Story. He has the biggest majority we've seen in recent history. Mm -hmm. He needn't fear confrontation. What he does is shut out people on the other side of the aisle and then complain that, uh, that they mm -hmm. can't come to an agreement. I mean, Harry Reid's a boxer, so this fits his persona, right, that he prefers a fight. And Barack Obama clearly has a very different style. I think it is frustrating for Democratic members of Congress, and there are plenty of things you can say about them, but I do think it's frustrating that they've incorporated some Republican proposals into their legislation, and they oh, can't they get not. Republicans to play oh, ball. Boy, They're not even trying to get Republicans don't to play ball. Don't you think it's really kind of pathetic when the Senate Majority Leader of a Democratic Congress is actually separating himself from a Democratic president? I mean, how weak is that? Do you think he was separating himself, or do you simply think he yeah, was Yeah, I think saying, he was trying to put some space between himself and the president. I mean, the president was just in Nevada, was just campaigning for him. I don't think those actions... But I, I think you're right. He he's the the he needs to create the space and angles. Take here's him to the, the ground. problem the Democrats had, and we went over this with Carl, Carl Rove earlier tonight, is that they can't run on any one, one issue that the American people support. American people are at odds with the president on the stimulus, on deficits, on spending, on health care, on the Arizona true. immigration lawsuit, and everything else in between there. Well, I just don't understand what he meant by asking the president to be more firm. I mean, he was so firm on the health care bill that zero Republicans voted for it. What more could Harry Reid have wanted out of him during the trench warfare over health care? Well, not only that, the American people were against him by the time they became informed about it. Oh, yeah, of course, well, the American people were generally against him every step of the way. They just became increasingly against him as time went on. So apparently Harry Reid's jab wasn't working. Harry's approval rating is still in the low 40s out there in Nevada. If he doesn't get it up over 45, he's he, out he's, of there. He's done. He's and, done. And Barbara Boxer's in trouble, and Russ Feingold is in trouble, and a lot of seats that nobody thought were up for grabs. A lot of Democrats have challenging races. I don't <laughs> actually see any of these people that is an in understatement. action separating themselves from the president. Listen, I think what he's trying to say, he was asked, Wait a minute. what's one thing you could say? Democrats, look at the Democratic governors this week. They're separating themselves from Obama. Look at, you know, there are now a lot of candidates saying they wouldn't want Obama to campaign in their districts because it would hurt them. Name me three. There's, there's a ton. They read political. They had a story the other day. They're like fighting to keep Obama out of their districts. It's sort of like when Republicans did try and distance themselves from Bush, not necessarily in principle, but because his, his popularity was down significantly, only this has but, happened much more quickly with President I Obama. I think the president also has a perception problem. He's on his third vacation since the oil spill. I will not rest until I fix the economy. I will not rest till the Gulf oil spill stops. He plays golf. He has photo ops. He shoot ho shoots hoops. He's meeting sports teams. It seems like his priorities. You know, i got to tell you something, Sean. <clears throat> when your staff sent around the notes on this section I was reading, that Harry Reid had said he thinks the president should be more firm. I first read it to say he thinks the president should be more fun. And I said, yeah, I agree with that. You know, the president has kind of a flat personality. I don't no. think he's exciting the American people at this point at all. You know, I, I also think he resents that he's not in that campaign mode with people fainting and fawning and you know this little business of actually having well, to do something. Campaign to go. Mode. It's like a chatty Kathy doll. Only he's not. We're not pulling the cord. He is. He's still in campaign mode the well, entire time. I mean, because I, if I was, I, if Bill Clinton were president, I said this last night. I think he would have been down instead of going on vacation. He would have been down in the Gulf. Absolutely. In fact, mm. people have said he would be in a wetsuit splashing around. Pretty much. Yes. And, and you know what? But it would have been effective. It would have been effective. It would have been effective to communicating to the American people that he understood that's a problem. I agree. It would be nice to see this president a little bit more fired up. It wouldn't actually help stop the oil. Yeah, that's no, no, the that boom would have, actually, getting at the jindal, that would have helped. Yeah, that would letting experts in on the on the which job early were on. Left out? You know who? You know what? Uh, day one, which he says he was working on it, I would have called in every oil expert from every company, and I would have convened a huge meeting. And I would, instead of lashing out, I can't suck it up with a straw. Whose ass I'm going to kick? I would have gone out there, and that's what I would have done. We didn't do it. Well, let's be honest about their real problem: the health care 
idea is not supported by the American people, and you've got 10% unemployment. We've got a break. More of the great, great American panel next.